when the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Silly churl, Billy churl, silly Billy hilly churl. Wanna come over for tea? One client, two clients, three clients. I thought it'd be nice to listen to the music from this game for a bit, but I forgot how much Hu Tao talks. When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Silly churl, Billy churl, silly Billy hilly churl. There we are. Hello. Actually, real quick, before Genshin things, there was a VC face update, which is my uh, my tracking software, and I think we need to look at it because it's very very good, and I'm going to be using it a lot for absolute nonsense and mischief. Uh, let me just real quick switch over. Here 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 here. So they added this thing where hold on, you can put 2D props on your avatar now. And I have prepared a few. <laughs> We've got I, I've got a little a little accessory just for, for today's stream. I gotta I gotta get it at the right angle though. Like right there. Oh okay. If I middle click, it stays on top. There we go. Huh? Huh? It's fashion. Oh yeah, new chat bubbles. I also they're by the same person who made the last ones, but they're like Animal Crossing themed now. Uh, yeah, very good. Uh, I've also got banana phone. Banana phone. And then I've got a little friend up here. Yes. Tortellini. 
so yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm I'm a big fan of this. I'm gonna be using this all the time now. <laughs> uh, now the thing is, in order to remove them, I have to press a key that I'm pretty sure is a hot key for something that is controlled. Something in OBS, and I don't know what. So if something disappears, I we'll find out. You know. Oh yeah, the Among Us. He's taking a call. <laughs> All right, boop, boop, and then I will uh, close this, and now we can actually play the game. <laughs> Oop, not that button, not that button. Uh, yes, this one. <laughs> we will do the window capture. There we go. All right, so... I've been trying not to... Please stop. Please stop, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I haven't really looked at much in the update yet. There's all kinds of new stuff, I guess. Um, first order of business, though, I do want to go fight that new boss. I do not know anything about it. I do not know how to beat it. Um, so this may go terribly, but I want to see it. I want to see the big puppy. Let me pet the puppy, mihoyo. Should I... Let me... Uh, do 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 do. Toma doesn't do anything in my party, by the way. He's just there to look pretty. There we go. We're going to hunt. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, also, since last time, uh, because the last time I streamed Genshin, I think I was just trying. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, booty got flagged as a bad word in chat. But um, last time I played this, I was trying to pull for Hutal. Uh, as soon as I ended stream, I did my commissions and I pulled again, and she she was just camera shy, I guess. And then we also, you know, I, I've been feeding her. I've been I've been training her. She's 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 very good now. So hopefully she'll be enough to deal with whatever this is. But oh, okay, that's not ominous at all. Just a big, big hole in the middle of the world. Am I- should I have, like, brought, like, a specific element or something? Like, I- I don't know how this works. We could be here for a while, who knows? Well, With the wind. let's go. <laughs> I'm mostly doing this so I can use my resin. Just like Doctor Who, you're so ro oh my god. Okay. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> that is a big dog. I, like, Rain, okay, I can hit it. I'm not doing a lot of damage, but I can hit it. <laughs> oh, I think Geo- Oh, you think Geo's good with it? Yeah, that would make sense. Um, I don't have any Geo characters that are, like, good. Uh, so we're just gonna smack this with Hu Tao until something happens. No, please, please come down here. Oh, dog tornado? Dog tornado? Don't call it Lagoshi. Don't do this. What is- He's just zooming. Oh, it's got corrosion. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so if you don't know uh, what corrosion is, I'm saying this for Cherry, who does not know anything about this game. I love you, though. Um, you take damage even when you have a shield, so that's really- that's really great. Um, I hate this now. <laughs> this is actually the worst. We might have to come back to this. <laughs> Cannot be used. Did I not revive her? Here. There we go. Oh, she's still deployed. Oh, there we go. Gotta let her die. This is going great. <laughs> this was a mistake. I can't wait till we get to the nice, like, dating sim portion of the evening. No, but who the pretty ones are. <gasps> wait, that reminds me. Is he... Uh, what button? Character I care where? Show me- show me him. Where is he? Is he not in here yet? Aw, dang. I wanna see the- the big demon man. So bringing a shield character was just completely pointless, is what I'm understanding. Please, please, ma'am, crit. I'm begging you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Die. 
I don't want Hutao to die so Razor gets to, to fight a bit. <laughs> my damage, okay? I'm doing my best. <laughs> Down bad for the demon- Don't say that! He's very good, don't get me wrong. I don't got Geo. Oh, I see now why you're supposed to have Geo here. Well, that's nice. Um... Oh, this is awful. This is the worst. Why did they put this in the game? <laughs> Yeah, I can't- I just can't really do anything to these. May my final stand. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Uh, here. See what you saw in the back channels? No. Leeching the health of- Ah! No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I'm- what I'm understanding is you need a Geo character to do- to do this fight. Um, we'll just put, like, my level 20 Ningguang in the party and see what happens. <laughs> Actually, here. We'll, uh, we'll be- here, we'll be cheap. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, button. I want- yes, this button. Yep. I know how to play Genshin. Rip Dog Boy. Yeah, he's fine. Um... Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess <laughs> Geo Traveler is full of finally gets to do something. Mysteries. You're gonna shower? Okay. Don't come back until you're squeaky clean. I can smell you through the screen. Um, let me see. I feel like bringing him here was a, a terrible idea. I don't think he has any artifacts, but you know, for the Geo. I guess I don't need Diona since shields don't do anything, huh? Maybe I'm strategizing too much about this. Very stinky right now. Then what are you doing here? Sheesh. Um, here. We'll do this. They're going to hunt. I, I, you know, it goes against my, uh, my religion, but I will use food. <laughs> How about that? Do I have anything good? Sure. Oh, why did I do... Yeah, attack, sure. Sure, we'll see if it does anything. <laughs> Alright, and then the puppy snake's gonna pop out and jump scare me again. Hello, sir. Oh my gosh. I will say it is very cool. Oh, <laughs> maybe not so much from the back, but... Hello. Oh, I don't have a healer, I just realized. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I made a mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the dragon do be sick. I do like it. Um, I'm gonna run now because I just realized I don't have a healer. I am not smart. I play this game, but I do not so wisely. <laughs> There's a dead spider. Do you want me to come get it for you? I'll catch it. I'll pause stream and I'll come over and I'll I'll get it in a little cup for you. How about that? So we need we need Geo. I will we'll put Chi Chi here. Where is he? Where's Geo boy? I I just clicked on him. What am I saying? There we go. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, I gotta get my uh my like one primo for looking at this. Attack the Rift Hound skulls with Geo damage. We'll, we'll sure try. <laughs> you need a pan on it, yeah. Uh, where am I going? Wrong way. I just stop looking at chat when I'm navigating. <laughs> Alright. Gonna go pet the puppy snake. Let's go. The other two times don't count. This one's for real. Okay, you didn't see the other ones. Alright, alright. Oh, jeez. Body and mind. Hello, sir. Please come down here so I can hit you. No, my sword. Quit it. See? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> All so good looking. So true. If you are a Gertie Tube chatter, you're automatically sexy as hell. I don't make the rules. Rain outlines your fate. Oh, hello, puppy. Okay, maybe let's not do that. <laughs> I don't- I don't like it here. I don't want to be here. Alright, here. Let me leave you a verse. Know my sword! See? Huh. Oh, my daughter is so low. Please, ma'am. <laughs> Sacred name. Fortune preserver. <sighs> oh my gosh, stop moving! Please. Oh, yes. Okay. Geo Traveler's time to shine. Wow, that did like nothing. <laughs> okay, we got one. <laughs> the spider is still alive. There's two. Alright, last one. Uh, don't look at me, I miss. It's okay. <laughs> oh, now you're dead. Now you're dead, buddy. If you tell whatever crit, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> You got a free pet. That's what you've gotten. The spider lives I there now. No, my sword. Ring cutter. No, come back. <laughs> Should have drowned it. No. <laughs> All right, almost there. This isn't as bad as I thought. I just had to change my entire faster. team. <laughs> okay, faster. It's fine. He's fine. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? It's still alive. No. Go. There, can Chichi beat it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was very stressful. Let's never do that again. Until Ido comes out and I'm doing this like every day. Um, then I will probably lose what's left of my sanity, but you know. Okay, that is a pretty cool looking drop, I'm not gonna lie. Even a lord amongst the Rift Wolves is nothing before monsters of a higher pedigree. Huh. Cool. Oh, gold made them. Wow, lore. Lore, I'm not gonna read that. It's probably very good lore. Um. Alright, well... Yeah, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> but that's that's the new boss, everybody. <laughs> Just uh, feed them, feed them all good. Boop. In this house, we do heal Hu Tao. She deserves it sometimes. So I also want to take a look at all the new teapot stuff because I haven't really looked at that yet. Uh, Toma, because he's pretty, and then Diana. There we go, Where that's we my team. This time? Oh, I love Toma, he's so good. He's so good. Um, teapot time. Oh yeah, Paimon is also in the teapot now. That is what I was looking at last night. So good. Here. Look at her, she's there! <laughs> Aw, just floating around in case you need a snack. Emergency food. Traveler, you're here. She's so Anything cute. Anything interesting you want to talk about today? I have to say, when I started this game, I really did not like Paimon, but now she's my favorite. She just says all the things that I'm thinking when all these characters are talking about their trauma and stuff. And I, yeah, it's just like the voice lines from the character menu, I think.
but without the traveler lines. Yeah. Without Chi Chi being a zombie. Um, do you think that Chi Chi needs to drink blood? That's not a zombie, Paimon. That's a vampire. Then will she transform during a full moon? This doesn't match. What is this? <laughs> that's a completely different line. It's not a zombie, that's a ghoul. As expected of a traveler, you really know a lot. I know everything, Paimon. I read the tier list. I subscribe to the meta. So, <laughs> I don't follow it, but I listen to it. What can zombies do? Exercises? Ah, oh, that makes a lot of sense. So the ones that do exercises are zombies. Got it! Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did I did place down the racetrack thing. I haven't made anything with it yet. But I, I do think this is very This is gonna be fun. Finally, finally something to do when you're out of resin, right? Uh, also as you can see, yes. The only one on the leaderboard. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I just like put it down to test it out, so. Oh that's right, there was a recipe that I did not purchase from this Tubby. But I saw people using it in their teapot, and I'm like, I need this right now. Where is it? Um do, do, do. I mean, I think it's a recipe. That's what it sounded like. The, there's like a photo frame now. Yeah, for Hangout Memories. Here, get one of those. And then some of these. Yeah, finally some multiplayer content. Exactly. Uh, create furnishing. Oh, please. I, there should be a collect all button at this point, honestly. Cookie Road? Is that where the cookies run? I haven't touched my cookie run in like a week. There we go. Yet to be learned. What do we need? Oh yeah, we can make it. Um, I think. Uh, please show it to me. This one, yeah. Do a few of those. And then... Use all my seeds. So basically, uh, I can build a Toma Shrine now, is what I'm understanding. <laughs> Spider has been washed down the drain. Okay, you're free. You're safe now. Alright. Ever... Let's go see what these do. Oh yeah, you're gonna see my beautiful teapot house, which has absolutely nothing in it, except for all the characters standing in a circle. Uh, except for Child. He's in isolation. I don't like him. He lives back here. Behind the stairs. Let me see. So if I do this wall decor. Oh, it's got its own category. Here, let me he gets his own room. Toma gets his own room. No place furnishing. There we go. Disgusting man containment zone. That's exactly what it is. The west side inner room. I will not remember this. And then we'll put... Where is he? There. Toma can live here now. There we go. And then I think... I think I just have to, like, walk up to it to put the, um... The image in it. Did it not save? Hello? Please? Well, he's not here, so it must have worked. West side inner hall. Is it... Here? I have no clue where anything in this teapot is. Oh, is it here? No. Is it here? No. Here? There he is. So how do you... Oh, okay. Oh, so you can go through all the hangouts. That's cute. Well, I know what I'm putting on the wall. Toma here. Toma here. See, we have the awful man containment zone under the stairs, and then we have the, the good boy containment zone up here. Let me see. Oh, I love that one. The cat with the sweater. So good. And then... Uh... This one's cute. Oh, 
Thank you for the follow, head pats. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect. I feel like it's kind of plain though. Not to turn this into a teapot decorating stream, but like he needs he needs something nice in here. He deserves it. Get some some lights. Wait, do I have candles? I do have candles. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, there we go. What else do I have? What what do I have for him? Oh, some flowers. He deserves flowers. And then large furnishings. You know, just in case. Just in case. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Gotta make sure he's comfy. Alright. I think that's about it for the teapot stuff in the update. I didn't look at the new pavement, but I mean... It's pavement. <laughs> Only so much you can do with that. Hello, Paimon. Um, I think the main thing that we're probably going to do for the rest of the stream is the hangout quests. Uh, which, if you if you don't know, uh, they're basically... They're not dates with the characters, but like they're totally dates with the characters. Uh, specifically, the, the Beto one is the one that I am most definitely looking forward to. She's just so cool, but I feel like I don't know a lot about her as a character. Which is probably my fault for not like loving friendship with her, but you know. Two dating some streams in a row. You're so right. That's exactly what's happening here. Alright. Uh, quest. Right here. I did make sure to unlock them all. Story quests. I still haven't done these. That might be its own stream eventually. But I I, I don't want to deal with him. I would do want the primos, though. Yeah, so we've got Dog Boy, and then we've got Pirate Mama. For the new ones. Begin hangout. When the crux shines bright. Oh, do I have to go all the way out to the boat? I do. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a pain, but that's fine. Get to enjoy the scenery a bit. Oh, crystal flies don't mind if I do. So I gotta go... I think if I go out this way, I can go up. And then we gotta fly to the boat. There's really no other good way to get there. I will say, I do like this area a lot. It's just everything here wants to kill me, and I don't really appreciate that so much. I right, gotta go, like, all the way up to the top. Huh? Tall boy. But that's where we're trying to go. <laughs> huh? 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 Hello, I do not- I do not wish to buy anything today, sirs, please. And then, go up here. <laughs> yeah. Am I high enough now? Probably. Legs. Don't mind if I do. Alright, here we go. <laughs> See how long they stay. There we go. <laughs> boat. Oh, I didn't realize it has its own little icon on the map. That's cute. Alright, where am I going? Where is she? Show her to me. <laughs> well, would you look who's here? Looks like it's going to be a day to remember. Guys! Look who the sea washed up! Ahoy there, traveler! <laughs> So Captain really did invite you to join the homecoming celebration. I've never seen this woman hey, in my life. I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in Inazuma. Are the rumors true? That's what I heard, too. Thanks to you, Inazuma's vision hunt decree was finally put to an end. Well done, traveler. 
Let me know if you guys want the voices louder too. People. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves. And sure enough. Yeah, I did just want to have a nice little chat. Didn't happen. <laughs> Look at you being so modest. We all know what you did to protect Liyue Harbor. I've heard that they tell stories about you and Mondstadt too. The honorary knight. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'd say someone of your caliber would be right at home in the cracks. Right, sailors? Please let me be a pirate. I'm begging. <laughs> That's right. Wow, I'm getting excited just thinking of being the traveler's crewmate. Hey, what do you say we arm wrestle? <laughs> there I was she is. You'd be too busy to show up. There she oh. is. Captain on deck. Uh, Captain, <laughs> we were just trying to talk the traveler. Me too, Cherry. To me too. Crew. Yeah, come on, Captain Beto. Surely you've got a way to get the traveler on board. Oh, he's on board right now for the celebration, isn't he? Oh, she's so good. <laughs> yeah, but just one celebration together is not enough. You know what we mean, Captain. All right, all right, I get it now. There is something special about you, Traveler. She called you me special. Did you hear respect, that, you guys? Myself included. <laughs> so it goes without saying that the Crux would be honored to have a crew member such as yourself. No doubt about that. But then again, a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. So should a hero really drop what they're doing just to spend day yes, after day in a heartbeat. at sea with us? Well, if that were the case, then the Crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon, would instead be holding someone back. No, no, please, please right. let me join your band. Uh, I guess we didn't think that part through. Remember... Rather than seeking out strong members to join us, you should be focusing on making yourselves the strongest that you can be. If we are powerful, they will come to us. Isn't that why everyone here chose to come aboard in the first place? Yes. A strong sailor is always looking for a sturdy ship. I guess I almost forgot the first lesson you ever taught me. Thanks for the reminder, Captain. <laughs> Just be sure you all keep that in mind. Now, there's no more need to hound the Traveler, as you were. The Traveler and I have something to discuss. Anything you want, man. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. Oh, so many options. You do run a tight ship, <laughs> Captain. <Do> I? <laughs> oh, to be honest, I don't care for that kind of reputation. I don't want people to see me like some big shot official from Yujing Terrace. But I'll take it as a compliment. I'm glad you see me as well respected. Mm-hmm. Respected, yep. Nothing but respect for this woman. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. But then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. It's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. I'm sorry, I... I can't help but notice just like how how much moves when she breathes on this model. They really the physics. They they just did a lot here. I'm going to look away. Their right excitement now. today comes from their great respect for you, both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. Why would I? I'm actually quite interested in the life of a sailor, please. Oh, is that so? Well, it just so happens that we're doing some recruitment and training for new crew members while we're back. It'll be a first-rate chance to learn the life of a sailor. <laughs> a wooga, indeed. <laughs> Since you're interested, why don't you come along and experience a sailor's life first? Please, hand? please. I'm curious to see if you'll take the sea by storm in the same way you have on land. Maybe not by storm, but I'll try and make a splash. <laughs> nice. Come with me. Let's see how big of a splash you can manage. Is it getting warm in here, you guys? The waves are as calm as Have a taste of sailor training. Who are you? I'm the helmsman of the ship. I never leave my post on voyage. If we have sudden encounters with the reefs or whirlpools, I must be able to act swiftly. I can't afford to slacken my watch. It's not an easy job, but it's always been my dream to do this. You go. Live your dream, man. Your dream? Well, I wanted to go on adventures all over the world at the helm of a large ship, sailing freely wherever I pleased. That's why I became a helmsman. 
Now that I'm the helmsman of the Alcor, half my dream has been realized. The other half may never be fulfilled, though, which is a shame. Though I'm the helmsman where we're heading, what route we're taking, I still need to take orders from the captain or our navigator on those matters. There better not be a mutiny on this ship. Absolutely not. We can't do this to her. Honestly, it was a bit disappointing at first, but I think I got over it as time went by. Most people's lives are like that anyway. Those who can control their own path will always be few and far between. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> here, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little this one's for you, Cherry. This one's for both of us. <laughs> Most people's lives are like that anyway. Those who can control their own path will always be far and few between. I mean, at least I've met a leader who I can finally trust, you know? Captain Beto will never lead us wrong. So true. I don't think that's what I was supposed to do, but, you know, we got to talk about her, so I guess that's fine. Chief Mate Juza's breaking in the newcomers, but I think we can spare you the tedium of that. After this, the new crew members will be arranged into two teams for more specialized training, according to their own aptitudes and the needs of the fleet. One team will learn comprehensive survival skills, including maritime emergency rescue, marine meteorology, psychological counseling, and so on. They will serve as the support team for the fleet, ensuring safe navigation. That's why we call them the Shield of the Crux. I see you, Cherry. We'll address that in a second. <laughs> What's the other team? The pen of the crux? The pen of the crux. <laughs> oh, that's a wild she idea. She thinks I'm funny. Unfortunately, this ain't the Wan Wen bookhouse, kid. Dang. As one might expect, we call the other team the spear of the crux, because they'll be learning about naval warfare. They'll make up the armed portion of our crew. Also, they're responsible for handling the fleet's cargo deals. So, what do you think? Which team is for you? I will fight for your honor, my lady. <laughs> you truly are an adventurer at heart. Let's start with the fundamentals for any armed crew member. Basic boat handling. Follow me. Up here, there she is. She's just so good. These are some older skirmish boats that we keep on the Alcoa. Oh uh, no, I gotta do the boat stuff. I guess Although that makes they've sense. Been made I should have expected by newer this. Models now, they're still fully kitted out. They're perfect for when we need to do simulated battles as part of crew training. I thought I'd be steering the Alcor in a battle simulation. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed? So this isn't quite on the scale that you had in mind, huh? To be honest, the Alcor going into battle is the last thing I'd ever want to see. In fact, out of all the confrontations we've ever had, almost all were resolved by negotiation. Wow, we love a woman who uses her brains. She's just perfect, wonderful. Only when negotiations fail do we consider deploying our armed fighters and skirmish boats, and they alone are enough to handle most situations. The only reason the Alcor would ever need to open fire would be if it were a fight to the death. The Alcor serves only two purposes, to deter or to destroy. We are an armed fleet with a strong sense of justice, not war-hungry lunatics. We're very careful about determining when to use force and exactly what level of force to use. All of this to say that mastering a small attack craft is quite enough for new crew members. Do you have any experience piloting small armed vessels? Sure do, I can even sail and fire at the same time. You mean you can do the jobs of a helmsman and a gunner simultaneously? Wow, that's... A quite an achievement. She's impressed, Even yeah. in the crux, there are a few who can do that. Seems like you're a natural. In that case, I'll skip the basics on how to operate your craft. The goal of this exercise is simple. Steer your skirmish boat along the prescribed route and return here within the time limit. You can start when you're ready. I'll be waiting here so I can observe your skills. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, real quick, though. Where? 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 Who, wh who where were, what were you pointing out, Cherry? Did I miss, like, a silly NPC name? Because there's some interesting ones in here. Well, I I'm sure it'll be back. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, time trial. Oh. <laughs> Start challenge. Alright. Mewm. I hate the boat part of this game so much. I thought it was really fun when it was just like in one event. Oh, happy home designer, make me a, a nice house. Make me a little house to live in, Jerry.
I don't actually have to hit these guys, do I? It's fine. Riveting gameplay. Wow, I love boats. <laughs> Oh, please put a toilet in it. That's my request, like the villagers. Oop. Oh, finally, I can ditch the boat. Perfect. <laughs> Did I miss some? I didn't see any other ones. <laughs> Not so on form today, huh? I'm, I'm a little sure rusty, I guess. To blame. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Just anyway, that was all just to get you warmed up. What I really want to show you is the more serious side of the Crux's business. Come with me. We're going to Liu a Harbor. Oh, are we doing business? Deals and business? Okay, so there's probably an ending where I don't fuck that part up. <laughs> I love the music here so much. It's so good. <laughs> you may be aware that as an armed fleet, the Crux is kind of like the maritime equivalent of a guard for hire. We work as an armed carrier, earning our keep by successfully delivering the goods entrusted to us from A to B. Aside from that, though, there is also one other important way we make income. Bounties for capturing pirates on the Ministry of Civil Affairs wanted list? I hope. Actually, that sounds cool. It's trading. In certain kinds of goods. <laughs> hey, my hotshot accountant. Nice of you to join us. Wait, why did she say it like that? Certain kinds of goods. What are... What are we trading here? <laughs> Cut it out, boss. Juza sent me here with a message. He says preparations are now underway. If you give me the all clear, I'll head straight over. An accountant? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Be careful. What's your bookkeeper doing here? Well... She has something to take care of. It's she, did she think it's a G? <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> Amora Grubber was right, though. The other important side Mora to our Grubber. business, the less official side, is doing exactly what merchants do. That's Paimon. She's Mora Grubber. Importing here, exporting there. The only difference between us and regular merchants is that our transactions aren't entirely above board. We're doing some shady shit, I You'll suppose. You'll see what I mean by that shortly. I'm taking you to see one such transaction for yourself. Come on, let's go meet our trading partner for the day. Oh, she... Oh, she's just running, okay. They usually, you know, walk at a leisurely pace during these. She, but she's zooming, she's got places to be. Fresh seafood! Fresh seafood! Catch it while you can! What do you have? Hello there! Here at Nay's Professional Fishmongers, we've got everything you could ask for! Everything? So what do you need? I want a bass head with all the teeth removed. If there's a single tooth in there, I don't want it. Okay. Oddly specific. Ah, you know bass have pharyngeal teeth, right? In the throat? How do you expect me to get all those out? Then I'll have a bass trunk with two swim bladders. Again, if it's short by one swim bladder, it's not the bass I want. What? You're not making this easy for me. One bass means one swim bladder. Afraid that's not up to me. Okay, 
Then I'll take a bass tail with scales that are yellow on the outside, black on the inside. Also, it's gotta have a total of 81 scales. That's seven times seven, no more, no less. All right. What kind of fish scales are yellow outside and black inside? You sure this is a fish you're talking about? Maybe she's like testing him or something? In any case, you can try all you want, but seven times seven is never gonna get you 81. I didn't, I didn't even realize the math was wrong. Oh my God. Pardon my asking, but you're not a fish expert, are you? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, I'm afraid I don't have any of the things you're looking for. Yeah, didn't you say you have everything we could ask for? Look, I'm a professional. So are most of the people I serve. I can accommodate anything they ask for. Seems you two are amateurs, so I'm sorry. But you'll have to go someplace else. Oh, I know he did not just disrespect my queen. Anywhere you'd recommend? <laughs> like I said, Nay's professional fishmongers is for professionals. For amateurs, the place to go to would be wise amateur fishmongers. You know, they're very clear in the naming, and I can appreciate that. I bet you're wondering why that guy was saying he didn't have what we wanted. That was just the first step in the transaction to confirm our identity. The real deal will come later. Oh, so this this was according to plan. Oh, she is just zooming. Okay, okay. She's got places to go. Gotta follow her rainbow. Where are you going, ma'am? Okay. Fresh seafood! Fresh seafood! Come take a look! Is this wise amateur fishmongers? That's the one. We have all kinds of amateur stuff here. The more amateur, the more of it we got. What would you like? We'd like a bass head. No problem. Ours are all toothless, mind you. And a bass trunk. Oh, no problem. I'll stick an extra swim bladder in there for you. On the house. And a tail. Sure thing. I'll paint the scales yellow on the outside and black on the inside, so you can tell at a glance, this ain't no ordinary fishtail. Do the scales add up to 81 or 7 times 7? 7 times 7 you want? I can do you 81. 138 or even 648 <laughs> it's up to you great i like your style we have a deal <laughs> the guards just like completely ignoring whatever business we're doing here appreciate your patronage please take your so order shady. to our warehouse manager over there <laughs> a real amateur if i've ever met one proud to have you as a customer no we don't have the fish here all fish sold at wise amateur fishmongers are still swimming in the sea. Once we get the order in from the customer, we go fish it out for them. The warehouse handles that side of things. Pay first, then we bring you the goods. That way you get the freshest catch. Are we we're, are we actually talking about fish cuz I'm starting to doubt that. Oh, we got to got to do this again. All right. Are you two here to collect your order? Yeah, just about uh, fish, baby. nothing else. <clears throat> yes, sir. We're here about that bass. I didn't expect you to come in person, but we still need to follow procedure. The bass you want is not a standard specimen. Our fishermen need to wait for the right moment to catch it. You know the rules, I take it? Of course. What rules? <laughs> well, as you know, timing and location are everything when it comes to fishing. You have to wait till all the conditions are just right. That means the tide, the moon, and the wind. Now, yeah, someone go wake up Venti, it's fine. So, let me ask you this. When will the tide come in? The fishing song will sound out at midnight. How drunk will the moon be before the party's over? It won't stop while the Star of Death shines. 
Okay, speak it in nonsense code Which now. Which way will the sea breeze be blowing? The breeze should be bound for Guyan. All right then, well received. I'll go and make arrangements. Uh, <clears throat> Great, I think that wraps up everything we needed to do in Liyue Harbor. Let's head back and wait for the delivery. That's it, but where's our fish? <laughs> I thought we were pretty clear, weren't we? The three people we just met are our business partners. Nay's professional fishmongers and Wise amateur fishmongers are just cover names. The fishing's just a front, oh no. The bass, obviously, is the code name for the goods. The numbers of teeth, swim bladders, and scales all represent different specifications. Meanwhile, the conversation I had with the warehouse keeper was the instructions for the deal itself. Let me translate it for you. Tonight at midnight, the deal will take place in Guyan Stone Forest. The Alcor will wait there as long as needed. As for what the actual goods are, well, you'll see tonight. <laughs> we're not doing anything illegal here, are we? <laughs> what if I were to say yes? What would you do then? Pretend I didn't see anything. <laughs> Thank you. But don't worry, everything will be fine. I got you, girl. I'm not gonna rat you out to the government. I deeply value you as a friend, but ultimately, you're not with the crux. I definitely don't want to cause you any trouble just because you hung out with me. I wouldn't complain, it's fine. So, it's rest fine. assured, we haven't broken any laws. <laughs> At least not today. Tomorrow's a different story. Alright, off to Guyun. Uh, which is over here. Oh, okay. Time travel time. There we go. I would, I too would break any law for her. She deserves it. She can have a little crime as a treat. Mr. Iron Ab Abacus. Making the deal. Captain Bado, you gave me quite the surprise when you showed up in person earlier today. Well, my friend is visiting, so I wanted to show him how the Crux handles some of its important business. It's me, I'm the friend. She called me a friend. I see. Hmm, you two must be close. You got that right. <laughs> Now, down to business. Have you brought the goods? Yep, all here. Please, feel free to take stock. Stop. Nobody move. We have received certain information pertaining to a potential illegal business transaction uh -oh. at this location. Uh oh Who ratted us out? Definitely not the guard who was watching us make the deal. Apologies, Captain Beto. But I'm going to need to inspect those goods. I'm not gonna run and leave- Oh no, should I distract him while Beto retreats? Oh, yes. an illegal business transaction, you say? Hmm. All the goods are here. If you have any suspicions, please inspect them at your leisure. C Captain, everything's been checked. It's just a bunch of potatoes, flour, and so on. And all the paperwork checks out, too. Huh? Everything's been checked thrice over. There's not a single contraband item here. The paperwork was approved by the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and the tax declarations are all in order. Looks like you've managed to clear everything up. I suppose we can put this down as a simple misunderstanding. Yes, uh, apologies. This was a mistake on our end. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Bravo, Captain Beto. This was rather ingenious. Wait a second, what's going on? All this mystery over some potatoes and flour? Mm, seems like your friend still has a little catching up to do. Oh god, we are selling drugs, aren't we? <laughs> I know you have a lot of questions. Come on, take a walk with me and I'll lay it all out for you. Well, I'll leave you both to it. Captain Beto, I look forward to doing business with you again. Take care. The suspense, please, please just show me what you I've been helping with. I thought that there was some sort of oh, no, nefarious walking. business going on behind all the secrecy today. The truth is, that was exactly what I wanted the Ministry of Civil Affairs to believe. What you might not know is that I, as the leader of the Crux fleet, and you, the great hero of Liyue Harbor, 
have both been on the Ministry of Civil Affairs watch list for a long time. No, I knew that. They tried to arrest me like three times. In other words, whenever you or I crop up in Liyue Harbor, it, it, it almost Hello? always <laughs> draws their attention. Not that there's any animosity behind it, mind you. In their words, it's a security precaution to prevent people like us from causing unnecessary trouble. <laughs> oh, I have no qualms about that. They're just doing their job, keeping the land safe. But how does that saying go again? Ah, yes. Sometimes the closer you are to something, the less you can see. Did you figure it out yet? That's right. Mora Grubber, the accountant. With you, me, and a few sacks of potatoes and flour serving as a front, the deal she's overseeing on her end should go off without a hitch. After all, the Ministry of Civil Affairs sent the Millilith to us. You're Looking concerned. at the time, it should be any second now. Look, that's the signal. You are Mia? <laughs> Tonight's real deal is officially done. What just happened? What did I what did I enable? Do you have any more questions? I have a feeling Ming Wang is not so easy to fool. You're right. Never underestimate her. But as long as we don't take things too far, she won't look into it too closely. She knows that neither you nor I would do anything to harm Liyue. In any case, there's another higher level watch list at the Ministry of Civil Affairs above the one we're on. It's top secret. Even I don't know whose names are on it. How does she know about it? But I do know that the individuals and organizations on that list are the ones that Qi Xing are really wary of. <laughs> I've gotten off topic. On some level, Ningguang and I are actually business partners too. They're business partners. Oh my god, they were business partners. <laughs> Reason being, I'm the only one who can get her some of the more obscure treasures she wants. What is the real deal? It's complicated. All you need to know is that what might be easily attainable for some people can often be a lifesaver for others who can't get their hands on it. That's where we come in. It's as simple as that. Do you mean <laughs> medicine? <laughs> you still have some important things to take care of, don't you? As long as you don't know what I was referring to, what? you'll be safe. I, I need to know so bad, man. You have no idea. So, I'm sorry, but no. I can't tell you for now. <laughs> of course, if the day comes when you've traveled to every corner of the world, found your sibling, and neatly tied up all your loose ends along the way, you're welcome to come back here, and I'll tell you all about it. No, okay. I'm, I'm holding them to this. If this game ends, and we finish, and you know everything's done and good, and they're done making money from it, and they don't tell us what this was, I'm writing a very strongly worded letter to Mihoyo. <laughs> You'll always be welcome in the Crux fleet. I hope I get to see you on board again someday. Was that it? The whole thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice image though. I'm holding her hand there. <laughs> All right. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, what just happened? I have so many questions. <laughs> Okay, um, let's do dog boys. I feel like that will be a little less concerning, perhaps. Just some good silly fun with our favorite general. I just... I have so many questions. So many questions. Anyway, dog boy, let's go. We'll come back and do the, the hangouts for... Or the other endings maybe later, but... I, I heard there was some wacky stuff that happened in this one, so I want to do it. <laughs> Down here. Where is he? Dog boy? Oh. Oh, she's here also. Oh no. This can't be good. I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender, loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? 
Oh, ma'am. Hello. Uh, no need. I'm not <laughs> interested in that kind of His thing. His little ear twitches. So good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't mind watching me do the, the Beto one, huh? <laughs> you say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. Miko, that is private information. You can't just give that out. How do you know? <clears throat> <laughs> He's not denying it. Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. <laughs> How could I do such a thing? What's her problem? She just likes to start shit. That's her whole character. <laughs> oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. <laughs> really? W wait, no. Why are we still <laughs> on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? That's what I want to know. Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. This is already really good. Ugh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? Alright, that's enough. It's you! Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so relieved to be out of this conversation. He <laughs> saved me. <laughs> oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? Don't call me that. I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? Oh, the option. Steal. We have to. We have to steal a glance at Goro's tail. Hey, not you too. <laughs> oh, he's so mad. <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? What is this furry shit? My good wholesome anime game. Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. I don't trust you. I do not trust you. Not one bit. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Oh, isn't she always? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. Do you know Yainiko well? <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. I'm with you there, bud. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. <laughs> Why don't I help you overcome this weakness, oh? Really? That would be great. To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation, they'd be very disappointed. His little droopy ears. Oh my gosh. So, I have to overcome it. For their sake. As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again. His tail is wagging. Oh my gosh. I've changed my mind. <sighs> I like him first, now. Though, <laughs> do you have any ideas on where to begin? Uh, I can act as a personality you find difficult to deal with. <laughs> I see. So if you pretend to be someone like her... I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. Where should we start? Have you found yourself in scenarios like this before? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. 
We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, but I ended up buying a lot of things from them. Then I'll pretend to be a merchant. I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Yes. Why don't we go there? I love I Rito, but like... the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. What is that supposed to mean, Cherry? Very sus. I like Rito because it's got all the like pretty maple leaves and stuff, but then we like never come back here. You only say whatever you want. You know what? Be free. Live your truth. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Oh, it's you? You came all this way to see me? Hi! <clears throat> Hi! <laughs> so, a, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. Oh, he's he's doing his best. So, uh, ten blankets, please? Twenty thousand, Mora. Okay, I'll settle the check right away. That's it? Just like that? The price seems pretty cheap to me. In which case, no need to haggle, right? Two hundred thousand, Mora, then. I think that's still not too bad. Is that supposed to be really expensive? Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. I don't know the specific prices of these items, so I never really know how to respond. Uh, this won't get us anywhere. I have to haggle to give you the chance to use your wily tricks on me. What do we do now? Let's switch to something that you're more interested in. Something I'm more interested in? Hmm, maybe, um, cake? A hundred thousand mora for a slice of cake. That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. If you can do one little thing for me. Wait a sec. If you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs one hundred thousand mora per slice must be so much better than a regular cake. <laughs> He's so eager to get scammed. Oh, let me see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. <laughs> Just the question marks. So... There isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? I don't know. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, I feel like role-playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. Uh, what kind of person do we both see regularly enough to impersonate convincingly? Please don't, please don't make me think of child during this hangout. <laughs> I think I met Fatui with the right kind of personality. Fatui? Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. Let's go give it a try. Oh, do we just get to fight some regular Fatui? I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, the little music notes are cute and the little hearts and stuff. I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big, stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow, I still don't have the muscles to show for it. No, pick your head up, Short King. Maybe I'll start to see the results in a few more years. I like you just the way you are. Really? That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. <laughs> that way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? Oh, so these are all the different lines that the Fatui have when you fight them. Uh... Are you here to play with me? What? <laughs> I smell danger! <laughs> Looks like I was pretty convincing. Really? Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual Fatui were right here. No, wait. Behind you! Oh, it wasn't course. my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to it! Oh, I get to play as him? Okay, he's mine now. Bye. Bye. 
<laughs> I'm taking him. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Too far. There's, I know there's like a glitch that lets you steal them, but... I think I have to turn off my Wi-Fi for that, and you I've can see why I can't do before, that. I've but I always end up against... I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but... Oh, I can pick the other options. <laughs> I mean, at the very least... I need to look more muscular than I know that people's trouble. Yeah, yeah, we already got this. Uh, enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to role play as this time? The more the merrier. What? I smell danger. Hee <laughs> hee, it's really? just me. Huh. For a moment there, I could have sworn the actual fatuic. The wait. Behind you. It wasn't my imagination. All right, fine. I'll do the actual fight. <laughs> are you uh, to play with uh, me? Uh, a little paw prince. Uh, Okay, what's his charge attack? He's got a little paw prints. Ah, uh, this one. I just want to see his burst. So he's got a dog. Hold on, let me let me look at him. Let's see what he does. Arrow attack. Oh, they gave you really? Huh. Uh, AoE damage. Okay. So this is based on the number of Geo characters in the party, so it's kind of useless to me. <laughs> yeah, so he just- he- his buffs are stronger when there's more Geo characters, so... We will see none of that. He is very cute, though. Oh, what does his burst do? Oh, he's got a little dog! That's so good. fun and games until the real Fatui show up, huh? So true. <sighs> that little interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. Aww. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? Time for plan Z. What's plan Z? Huh. What do you mean? I'll imitate the person you fear the most. Oh no. <gasps> Is this moving a little too fast? Her Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things, and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. To clarify, it's not that I'm scared. It's just that I don't know if the time is right. Be brave and give it a try, King. Let's go. Uh, I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it! Time for a make-or-break training exercise! All right, to the streets. And we're back. Ready? Don't worry. My head's in the game this time. 
Believe in you, King. You got this. I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the general of the resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. Oh, we love the confidence. So bring it on! How adorable. Oh. <laughs> hmm. This feels like... <laughs> Let's see that gorgeous tail. Okay, these are both a little sus, but sure. <laughs> yes, it definitely feels like... Like Yaimiko? Uh, not no, even slightly. Not even slightly. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's not that you do a bad impression of her. More like uh, something is missing. It's the tits. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. Uh, it just makes me feel like all my secrets have nowhere to hide. Like she can just peer in and see them. But it's different with you. I trust you, so... I don't feel I need to hide my secrets in the first place. Hi, Hazel. I'm doing the furry quest. <laughs> Even when you're imitating the way she speaks, I don't feel afraid. Because we fought side by side in the past, and I know I don't have to have my guard up around you. Aw, that makes sense. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine. As much as it pains me to do so. No, pick your head up, King. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is frustrating. Yeah, let's get him some cake. That that makes Are you everything serious? better. I love that. The little hearts, yes. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. Let's go buy some reasonably priced cake. Pick your head up, King. All your right. doggy ears are true. Next is to find somewhere nice and quiet. <laughs> Go to a quiet spot. Mm, mm, this is so good. You don't get to eat cake very often? <laughs> it's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then it usually means meat and wine, not dessert. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But, as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. I don't mind sharing it if you want some, yes? I'll give you some, bud. Wow. Anything you want. Uh, don't mind if I do. Oh. Hmm. That's so sweet. <laughs> the show can get all the dessert in the divorce. I mean, we know she loves sweets. Oh, that's so cute. Desserts are the best, and so is being happy. Aw. Share and cake. <laughs> so cute. Very good. Okay, we should do more of the dog boy quests. Those are really good. <laughs> oh, and then, yes. Get paid to go on date with Doggo. Alright, let's see. At least now I can skip around. Oh, wow. Okay. There is uh, apparently a lot of different ways this can go. Right here. We'll start here. One clients, two clients, three. Back down here. Yeah, you should do them, bestie. If only for the the Fremo gems and also uh, a certain fox lady is in these. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end. There, could she be plotting something? Yeah, what you what you missed, Hazel, uh, there was a very long, very awkward conversation in which Miko kept calling him cute and talking about his tail. Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. No, I, we have not seen Goro's mom yet. <laughs> Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. Do you know Yaimiko well? Uh, I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically. Something about her is strangely intimidating. Sherry does not know about Goru's mom, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see her pretty soon. I, I say mom in quotation in marks. Battle, but <laughs> I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. It's okay, let's just ignore her. <sighs> You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. 
In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yaimiko, everything should be fine. Honestly, I'm fine with just avoiding her forever. <laughs> no, she is... I, I don't like her. We're not picking that. Let's steer clear of the Yai Publishing House for now, then. Okay, whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. No, I, I did not I did not share her because I, I do not trust her. I do not like her. She's she's plotting shit all the time. <laughs> I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently, the Adventurers Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurers Guild. Would you mind coming along? Not the Adventurers Guild. No problem, bud. Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. Where are we- where, where are we dropping? Oh, we have to go talk to Catherine. Great. <laughs> Hello. You tell Catherine about how Goro is looking for a box he buried. Hmm. I'm afraid that will be a little difficult. Why? What's happened? Don't worry. The item you are looking for is safe and sound. However, I'm unable to return it to you at present. Okay, I'll admit it. Catherine's cute. Like, we don't really get to see her much because she's behind the desk, but she, she's just... I like her little, like, headband. She's cute. The reason being... It is connected to a case involving the treasure hoarders, which is still under investigation. I'd pull for Catherine. That's strange. I buried that box there. What does it have to do with the treasure hoarders? Allow me to explain. Not long ago, we received a commission concerning a theft by treasure hoarders at Kamore Tea House. The adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. As such, we cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarders at this stage. For now, all we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurers Guild until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. Then, we will see that all items are returned to their rightful owners. Hmm, can we I get see. to fight, please? I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same place. It's... It's a beach on the most populated island in Inazuma. Of course, of course people are burying stuff there. Well, since these are the rules, I won't press you for it. But might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders. So I'm afraid it still could take some time. Now I'm going to do this in like five minutes. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. What's in it, though? It better not be like the, the Beidou one, where we just never see... Are we looking for a bone that he buried? Oh no. <laughs> that is... perfectly acceptable. You did miss him getting roasted for cuddling with his tail at night. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. Yeah, good thing we got a couple of fruits right here. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have to devise an original approach. Let's head to Komori Tea House yes, first. It seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the Komori Tea House like? I mean, neither of these are incorrect, but it's actually a hot pot place. Toma knows pot. about that. <laughs> so they call it a tea house despite the fact that it is obviously a hot pot restaurant? Huh, how confusing. Anyway, let's go take a look. I would like to talk- can we talk to the dog, please? The dog that runs the tea house. The only respectable businessman. A <laughs> dog girl persona. <laughs> Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? 
We're grateful for the assistance. However, I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. Yeah, his tail wags so much. It's really cute, not gonna lie. It was Taromaru's number two reserve fund that they stole. They stole the dog's money! They struck late at night while there was no, no one in the surrounding area. Unforgivable, so unforgivable. They could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box, but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our tea house. <sighs> I've asked around many times, and there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. They stole money from the dog! No! <laughs> How evil do you have to be? Look at his face! Look at his chubby little cheeks! They just robbed him blind! Oh, Taramaru! What are you doing out here? Go off, King. How strange. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. You understand Tarumaru? Uh, how can I describe it? It's like listening to a regional dialect. A lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. He speaks that he understands the barking. No! <laughs> Awful. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them and they were armed, Tarumaru didn't dare to bark loudly, so he just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder. Poor boy. He's been acting more anxious than usual lately and is always looking outside. <laughs> and I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. This just keeps getting wilder, honestly. Yes, that does sound like quite a predicament. I just, I want him to bark back. <laughs> It'd be so funny. <sighs> okay, I think I understand now. I don't. Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. No one usually thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area, while the two newcomers in the team were more likely from somewhere else. You got all that from a wolf? Thank you, Tarumaru. It must have been hard for you, knowing the details of the crime but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. We'll take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of petty thieves. <laughs> this is a good quest. Where am I going? Oh wait, that was that was closer to where I already was, wasn't it? That's fine. Where am I going? Should I have gone this way? I have no sense of direction. Lower? Oh, is it like underneath here? Oh, that's right, because there's like the caves under here. Yeah. I think we're getting close. There's danger in the air. And something doesn't smell right. Be careful. Oh, I don't get to use him in this one. Ray outlines your fate. My boat now. Hehe. <laughs> This is bizarre. How would anyone think to look here? Uh, boss, didn't you say that the most dangerous place is the safest place to hide? Yeah, and I still maintain that I'm right in principle. Think how many days we've been here. No one else has come looking for us, have they? I'm just ignoring the fursona discussion in chat. <laughs> Listen, if it's basic, just throw like angel wings and devil horns on it or something. Take the deviant art route can't believe we got caught. 
just when the whole thing had nearly blown over. Hey, kid, who the heck are you guys anyway? Yeah, Tarumaru's best buddies. Shouldn't waste any more time on these people. Life is tough in the resistance, but none of our troops would ever think about laying a hand on the innocent civilians under their rule. You have things so much better here, and this is how you choose to live your life? It's we should turn them over to the Adventurers Guild right away. Once their identities are confirmed, they'll get the punishment they deserve. Please, show a little mercy. Absolutely not. You robbed the dog. We'll give you half of everything we've saved up over the years. If you're willing to turn a blind eye on this, anything's up for negotiation. Yeah, but like, close up on the characters that we only see in this section. Not to mention all the like animations and stuff that we never see outside of these. <laughs> That's enough. Tie them up and take them away. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> come to think of it, this is not a military camp, so there's no need for me to be so. No, they robbed the dog. They deserve death. But thieves still have to be punished. Let's escort them back. I'm pleased to confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamari Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules, now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items, we can now return the box to you. I need to know what's in this box so bad. I, it, it, if it's like the Veda one and we just don't find out, I'm going to be so mad. Here, please take it. <sighs> Thank goodness. Are you going to open it and take a look? Well, let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So, let's head there now and open it. Hello, random NPC in the corner. Gotta go all the way to the Zoro domain, okay. Dog treats. Yeah, place place your bets now. What's in the box? <laughs> oh, it's the the lady with the the weird water. One, two, three. Yes. Is we, no. Like here. No. <laughs> I mean, he does have a collar, but that's besides the point. <laughs> what are these? Some personal items that once belonged to the troops under my command. Water bottles, towels, uh -huh. knee guards. Uh -huh. I don't Just believe you for some everyday reason. Everyday items, but each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner. These were the only things those soldiers had for their families to remember them by. Oh, I feel bad for making fun of it now. <laughs> we all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim. Many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones. Oh my gosh. You see, their swords and pole arms broke in battle. Their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so they couldn't even leave a letter. Yeah, why did he bury these in the sand if they're so important? You're telling me there isn't a place like on Watatsumi Island they could have kept these? In the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items. Artifacts of their daily lives. Goro. My soldiers trusted me, but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these, and instead of honoring their last wishes right away, I had to hastily bury them in the sand. Oh, he's so sad about it, though. I can forgive him. It's okay, you guys. Every time something like this happens, I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I have to be stronger. You got the box back, bud. It's all good now. Yeah. But right now, let me just mourn them for a little while longer. Bro. <laughs> Anything uh, from Tepe in there? Dang. Okay. The last one had a cute, silly ending where we ate cake together. This is uh, quite the shift. 
Yeah, right? A single dialogue choice. You eat cake with Goru and instead you're talking about his dead friends. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Now we gotta do the ones with Miko in them. I, I can't keep avoiding her. <laughs> I do love that they pay you to go on dates with them. Alright. So there's two other ones. Wanna come over for tea? And I think there was a, a second option for if we what click happened? avoiding her, I think. Or, no, there wasn't. There was definitely <laughs> something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Always. Sorry that you had to yeah, see we already did this twice. I'm I also wanted to come and see what things are here. like. <sighs> I've interacted with her. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. I wish I could probably deal with her. Uh, why don't I help you overcome really? this weakness? To be honest, this is some. So, I have to. As soon as I've worked through this, <sighs> first things first. Some theoretical study. Good plan. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Okay, hot take, but I think he and Noel would be such good friends. I can just see it. Where am I going? Watatsumi. Here we go. Noel, here I'll show you Noel Cherry, so you can you can know what we're talking about. Uh, she's a nerd, first of all. She's also just like ripped as hell. There she is. She's a uh, Geo. She's so cute. But she like is always like studying, cause she wants to be a knight, and they never let her into the knights for some reason, even though they let an actual toddler into the knights. So, I think they'd be friends. She deserves it. She's so strong. Who am I talking to here? Oh, hey, this is a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna pretend I didn't think about that. Whew. I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. I had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice. A, a character died there, Cherry. Don't don't worry about it. But I can't just go to them and say, hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story. <laughs> and I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, I'm asking for a friend. Definitely not me. Just a friend. I see. So, you're saying that your, <laughs> uh, your they friend, know. They know. sorry, is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality? Uh, it, yes. <clears throat> so, I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The friend. Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. What's the logic behind that? Uh, well, you see, General Goru, uh, <laughs> General Goru's friend, I mean, <laughs> always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. No matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally, which, don't get me wrong, <laughs> is something I admire very much. No one in this quest is slick but at all. The other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. <laughs> now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Huh, so that's how it's done. <laughs> well, it's something to try. Whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. Going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger side. Going through the motions. 
Well, on my friend's behalf, thank you for your advice. <laughs> ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that uh, Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice, too? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right. Let's see what Miwa has to say. All right. Oh, he's running. Who wish to have an audience with her excellency? He's running. They usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, who then passes them along. <laughs> Look at so his, sure his little has tail bouncing. Dealing with oh my gosh. General Goro. He do got the, the captain of Swordfish too. What are you doing here? He's got so much zoomies we don't get to hear the rest of that dialogue. <laughs> we wanted to ask you about something. I see. So General Goro's friend wants to overcome his weakness, right? Uh, that's right. Do you have any advice? Hmm. Let me think. My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. Interesting. Cast your minds back. Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend and not the other way around? It's because she always has that same smile on her face. So no one ever knows what she's really thinking. She's already won the battle right from the start. Hazel, so I'm playing this one for you. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does, to conceal the workings of his mind. <laughs> You make so much sense. So what you're saying is, my friend just needs to keep his cool, and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Is is that what she's suggesting? I I hope not, but also it would be funny as hell. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful. You have my gratitude. I'm sure with your approach, that a uh, friend of mine <laughs> will be able to overcome his weakness. <clears throat> then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory. <laughs> it's the pause before friend every time. Well, I'm slowly starting to gain confidence. Oh, I, I suddenly remembered. Her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Who knows? There may be some useful suggestions in there, too. Let's go take a look. Oh, uh, no, are we going to read? Thorough. I don't want to read. I'm playing a video game. Well, he's I running again. Oh. me the general operational directives in three parts, and I think this is where I placed them. Where are we going? Okay. Let's see. Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, Dealing with outlander merchants. <laughs> the item just sparkling in the background. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. uh, got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Uh, that's her excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? <laughs> the way his little tail wags. So good. What does it say? Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. Kokomi is prepared for fucking everything. Like, she's just... Like, there's... Anything you could ever want to know is in that little fishy book of hers. Boy, if even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yaimiko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. <laughs> Bitch definitely has anxiety, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but... How do we figure her out? I think we can visit Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. <laughs> We're gonna go find dirt on Miko, okay. Oop. Back over here. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, greetings. Here to buy some books? 
We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. All the rage. Gotta be something good. I must good. say that Lady Guji has mm, a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently, the rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, <laughs> you're just one small step away from becoming the next big author. Are these books personally selected by Yaimiko? Yes. Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones, <laughs> and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? Mm hmm. Uh, well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Yai Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House. Uh, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Promotional strategies? Take That's Life magazine, for example. Uh, when we first started running it, sales were very poor. Uh, the return was barely covering costs, and for a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new marketing plan. Where is this going? Next thing you know, sales are through the roof. That's life. Wait, isn't that- Oh, he knows. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Nothing. It just reminded me of something unrelated. Extremely suspicious, sir. Hmm. I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. <sighs> Yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. Could she help me market my Twitch? That'd be really helpful. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Look, I'm not sure what your plan is here, <laughs> but... I caution you against trying to second-guess Lady Guji. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Yeah, wh what's she reading? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. Huh. The protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Just notice this guy's hair. How much hair gel do you think he, he puts in there? Ace Attorney looking fucker. All right. Cunning strategies. In that sense... It sounds similar to Her Excellency Sanganomiya. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. <laughs> no hair gel just does that because of the static electricity in Inazuma. That makes so much sense. <laughs> the Shogun just wants everyone else to have a bad hair day. <laughs> huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. Oh, we're just going there. Love the confidence, King. Let's go. Uh, please let me pick the waypoint. There we go. So this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. He's never been here? Dang. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. Yeah, it is pretty inaccessible. It's just like so many stairs. No one wants to walk up that many. But like an elevator or something, come on. I'm not in the habit of it, but since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. 
Let's draw one together. Oh wow. Lots of options here. Uh let's do the center left fortune slip. Open it up quick. Let's see what we've drawn. Good fortune. Not bad. At least it's something good. It means that our training must have been effective. Things will go differently this time. Oh, geez. Gotta go confront the beast herself. No, we're still on this, uh, the same one. Oh, geez. Where is she? Any second now. We'll be face to face with her. <laughs> Let's show her who's boss. Don't worry. All our hard work is definitely going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some <laughs> trouble along the way? You knew we were coming. Mm, but of course. That's why I'm here waiting for you. <laughs> so what? You knew we were coming. He's so mad. This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... <sighs> <laughs> Slow down. No need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day. And most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here what? seeking to know their future fate. Uh, hoping that it would be a lifetime ma together. Ma'am, no, I'm not with this boy. <laughs> if you're interested. I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. But also, I kind of want to. I kind of want to know what it would say. <laughs> Together for a lifetime? <laughs> Whoa, there. Calm down. <laughs> Remember what Shuhei said. We mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. Now that I think about it, perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. <laughs> Imagine him holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. <laughs> what is this fan fiction shit? Okay. Uh oh, not good. My mind is already full of many images. <laughs> uh, can't unthink it now. I'll have to resort to the method Miwa taught us. By the way, there's really no point in trying to hide the way <laughs> you feel. You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try, but with your tail <laughs> swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. What? Then again, you know what? Most people only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy <laughs> ears are really just as fascinating. Please, no more. I can't take it anymore. There's only one method left. A cunning strategy that no one saw coming. This is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. But there's no other way. Goru. I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me. Oh shit, Uno reverse card, let's go. Just like me, you hug your tail when you go to sleep. And just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. <laughs> he sounds like he's like choking back tears. <laughs> I see. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. Not bad. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. Oh shit. I don't have a tail at all. No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. KO. Retreat. Retreat. <laughs> Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here. When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again. <laughs> bye bye now. Come, Come again, again soon. soon. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, no, she gets head pats from the Shogun. Absolutely. <laughs> Awful. Her little oh ho ho laugh. <laughs> Tactical retreat next time. Oh, incredible. Oh, that was good. So got two more to find. Is there? Okay, so they're both. I don't. Rem... I don't know how to get this option though. We'll see. One clients. Oh, shut up, Hutao. <laughs> like I love you, ma'am, but please. <laughs> All right, back down here. With the 
wind. With the wind. <laughs> All right. Boop. There was definitely something. Right, I'm gonna skip through this because we've seen Since it like three tonight, times I, now. I also wanted to come and see what things are like. <laughs> Do you know like Luke? Well, I've, I've, I've never been good at deal. I could probably deal with her and. Um, I think we did both of the options here, so let's see if there's another one here. <sighs> You're right. I've heard her excellency say the same thing. I okay, sure. She's not all that bad. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. What is it? They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, oh, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. Oh shit, that's why he was, like, all surprised last time when it was brought up. Okay. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai and Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. <laughs> he, he's a dog with a vlog! <laughs> you know, like the hit, the hit Disney Channel show that I don't think I ever watch. Huh, this place looks nice and quiet. <laughs> Dog boy with the blog boy. <laughs> Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you know who at the Yai publishing <laughs> house later. You know who? Like her name's anyway, on the building. The writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. I'll stay and keep you company. Great. Let's write the replies together. I'm actually interested to hear your perspective. Let me see here. Mm, uh, let's start with this one. Today, a new guy came to our village. He was good looking and had a lovely voice. When I peeked at him from behind the door, I felt my cheeks getting hotter and my heart started beating faster and faster. Whoa there. <sighs> see, I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic <laughs> where I can offer much expertise. Getting love advice from the dog. What's your take? <laughs> it sounds like she's falling ill. Hmm, I think so too. Many soldiers have developed similar symptoms in the past when we march in the rain. It's easy to catch a cold <laughs> in wet weather. I've taken care of ill soldiers personally in the past, so I know this problem well. Little cherry blossoms. This really is just a dating sim now. I'll reply. <clears throat> the temperature has dropped recently, and it's likely you've caught a cold. Taking medicine will be an important part of your recovery, but don't overlook the importance of keeping warm and getting plenty of rest too. What do you mean lead him astray? I think that's a really like logical thing to answer. <sighs> I think that should do it. Come on, let's read the next letter. What does this one say? My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. I have tried subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Please help me. Mm, if this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The proper policy is to resolve it without delay. And the most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. Do you think that makes sense? Perhaps take a softer tone or I, I completely agree, yeah. Okay, so let's reply <laughs> along those lines. Well, let me think. Mm. How about this? <clears throat> It is good that you want to repay your neighbor's kindness, but be aware that you can find other ways to do this that don't involve lending them money. Right now, the most important thing for you to do is demand your money back. Being kind does not mean allowing your neighbor to walk all over you. That's true, though. Listen, I think I'm, I'm only giving him good advice, okay? Okay. And we are done with that letter. The next one seems longer. Let me see. Hello, I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in 
the resistance. So this is from one of my troops? <laughs> is it someone you know? Mm, most likely. But I'm not sure who. Before passing any readers' letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. It was me. I wrote it. <laughs> so I can't be sure who exactly this is. Anyway, let's keep reading. I couldn't turn a blind eye to the Vision Hunt Decree, and my anger drove me to join the Resistance. My comrades and I have fought side by side, and I have formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. But this is not my hometown, and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The Resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the Shogunate. But my hometown tugs constantly at my heartstrings. Aww. How should I reply to him? Yeah, this is up to you, bud. Let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave. But if making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt Decree? I mean, the Vision Hunt Decree just ruined people's lives, but go off. I suppose I'll reply... Hmm. Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. Oh, are you okay? Uh, I'll be okay. Come on, let's finish the rest of the letters. Thanks to you, writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver them to the Yai Publishing House, shall we? Listen, I think we did a good job. Ah, great. That's all the replies for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for <laughs> all your hard work, Miss He... <clears throat> what? Mr. Goro. I think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. Could I trouble you to come back to Watatsumi Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Aww. Kazuma once told me that the bonds between people whose paths have crossed can never be broken, even after they part ways. Kazuma, yes. But... Let's go, <laughs> leaf maybe boy. Maybe I'm scared he might be wrong. People can change quickly, and I worry that the next time I meet my comrade, who fought so bravely alongside me, there will already be some distance between us. Let's go visit them together. Great. Then let's head off whenever you're ready. Down here. My enjoyment of this game was just improved immensely once I realized you could just click the markers on the map to, like, move to that part of the map. <laughs> General Goro, a and Captain of Swordfish too. General Captain, are you here to inspect the camp? Uh, not this time. I just thought I'd come by to catch up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything <laughs> you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. Sorry, but the, the default, like, standard dude model with the mustache just pasted on is so good. <laughs> that's not Tepe, that's his brother. Like, they're completely different characters, you can tell by the mustache. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll join them. <laughs> or did I... Where's my... Did I accidentally turn off my mustache hotkey? We gotta fix this right now. Hold on. Boop, there we go. <laughs> but we haven't been out of the camp lately, so <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of interesting stories. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see... After the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army, and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. 
we're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. No, let the boys hang out. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest. And besides, everyone's vacations come at different times and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free, and they're busy when I'm free. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's <laughs> just happy with a mustache. <laughs> anyway, even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now, and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> I'm not sure what we'd talk about. <sighs> so that's really how it goes, huh? It's part of life. Aw. I know. It's okay. I just... It just seems a pity. That's all. You know, having said all that, there, there's something else that I've always felt about this. Really? Yes. I feel that no matter how long we're apart, and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. Halfway to anime, Grody? What are you talking about? <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing <laughs> that's never gonna change. We're your troops, General Goro. You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. Oh, the point. If you say the word, <laughs> we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. <laughs> Long live the resistance! <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance. Aw, long live the resistance. I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Ah, General Goru, you're here. <laughs> it's the same hair as the other guy in a different color. I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know so he's not waiting there in vain. Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Let's head to the camp. <laughs> the Genshin NPC Thanks kicker. Oh, he's running again. <laughs> no matter what changes the future may bring, we will always have each other's backs. Sure, there may be some awkward silences when we meet again after a long time, but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. Please, sir, slow down. General Goro, I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find the courage to Who? talk to you about it. Who? Of course, if you disapprove, I'll obey your orders. I, I am your subordinate, after all. Miss Hina? I don't recognize that name. Uh, Miss Hina? Who's that? It's a long story. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the resistance. General Goro, I... Come on, don't look so down. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. Aw, we love a supportive dog boss. No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. Yes, General. I'll take my leave then. Take care of yourself, General Goro. Take care. That was... That was okay. Aww. Or should I say, it was for the best. He sounds so disappointed. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Just like this. Aww. 
That's sweet, though. Okay, but now we gotta figure out what, what's going on. Do I need to, like, answer the questions good to get that ending, maybe? Not that I, I answered them perfectly, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, there's, you know, the other options. Just pay me to hang out with the dog, thank you. Boop. Yeah, I think that is what I need to do. Okay. Fine, we'll go give the advice that it wants me to give. Oh, that's right. Watch at the publishing house. That makes sense. Huh. This place looks nice and why don't we write the replies here? I just hope I don't have another run. Anyway, the right. Right. Okay. I'll go keep watch at the yeah, publishing house. Yeah. Ah, you want to scout ahead? Yeah, that works. This way, if Yai Miko's lying in wait for me there, <laughs> I can avoid her. But stay sharp, okay? She is a force to be reckoned with. You must be sure to tread carefully. If you spot her, get yourselves back here right away. We'll run for our lives. I mean, uh, <clears throat> we'll make a strategic retreat. Anyway, I'm counting on you. Oh, I should take the mustache off, huh? I forgot I still had that. Hold up. <laughs> Here. There we go. Alright. Back to the publishing house. <laughs> Clean shaven grody. Alright, everyone. Settle down. We are gathered here today, united by a common purpose. Now, who can tell me what they think that might be? Let's see what this is all about. Well, of course, it's to tell the whole world about how wonderful Miss Hina is. Okay. An excellent answer. How gentle she is. How understanding she is. How delightfully mischievous she can be. On occasion, we can all testify to the great joy that Miss Hina has brought to our lives. But my friends, there are so many people out there in this world who still need Miss Hina's salvation. We can help by spreading the good news about Miss Hina to every soul in the world. My friend, do you have a moment to talk about Miss Hina? <laughs> who? <gasps> friends, I found one! Someone needs our help! Oh god, they're making me join their cult. Shh, calm your voice down. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, my friend. On this joyous day, we would like to open our hearts to you and tell you about the existence of a perfect being. She is gentle, kind, understanding. She is the brightest star in our sky. Here, have this pamphlet. <laughs> it's just the, here, have this pamphlet. So, what do you oh, think? Oh, no. <laughs> Tevat's big sister, gentle and kind. She answers all your questions. She'll help you be rid of all your troubles. Oh, no. Looks kind of familiar. Oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I forgot to give you all the details. Is his hair, like, not attached to his neck in the back? <laughs> like, you guys are seeing this too, right? There's just a gap. <laughs> Have you ever come across a magazine called That's Life, published by the Yae Publishing House? It's a monthly magazine featuring, amongst other things, an advice column. We were among the first readers to send in letters seeking advice, and we've received kind and gentle replies to each one. Although the editor chose to conceal her name, gender, and other details, we all see her as an <laughs> emphatic older sister figure and feel convinced that she must be the same sort of person in real life. Oh, no. Oh, there's no mistaking it. Just from her letters, I can feel that she respects me, trusts <laughs> me. She has a natural ability oh, to connect no. with people. She's so considerate. She can always sense our true emotions from our letters and never fails to deliver the advice and the encouragement we need. That's true. Mik Miko would be great as like... A I was about to say she'd be great as a VTubing producer, but now you're just roasting me, huh? <laughs> Except when it comes to the topic of romantic love. She's clearly not an expert there. But even then, that just makes her all the more endearing to us. Recently, the column went through a low period where it just wasn't popular at all. In fact, they almost axed it. 
Unfortunately, Yae Publishing House made the decision to publicize her image. And then the column finally started to grow in popularity. <laughs> so Miss Hina is. That's right. Miss Hina is the person in charge of That's Life magazine's advice column. She is the one we all admire Paimon is and adore right. so greatly. Not the Paimon slander. <laughs> and so, when we heard that Yae Publishing House would be revealing the official likeness of Miss Hina today, we immediately came here from wherever we were, all over the nation, to gather together and to witness this grand moment in history. Oh no, I wonder how Gora would react to this. Please. Gaze upon the radiant beauty of Miss Hina. See how truly lovely she is. All right. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna love this. Yeah, all rats are from Remy Ratatouille. If you see a rat just like out in the wild, just put it on your head. It'll go perfectly well. Stuart's a mouse. Right. He's not a rat. Well, actually, he's a human child who just happens to look like a mouse, but we don't need to get into that. Is, uh, <clears throat> uh you know who at Yai Publishing House? No, she isn't. Whew. That's good. What's up, Goru? I just finished writing my replies, so I was about to head to Yai Publishing House and hand them in. Why are you helping to write for them? Why? Hmm. I guess it's because I can help people this way. Also, the editor said to me, this is something that only you are capable of. They made quite a solemn request when they first approached me, so I felt like I couldn't refuse it. But once I'd settled into it, I found myself really enjoying it. Before I knew it, I had written hundreds of replies, and sometimes they'd respond again just to thank me. It made me so happy whenever they'd compliment me. Uh, every time I think about that terrifying woman, I feel like I want nothing to do with Yai Publishing House. But then... Whenever I think about how my replies can help so many people, I feel a sense of responsibility. By this point, I'm so used to it that I'd probably find it hard to adjust if I ever gave it up. <laughs> I can't let him know the full story. I'll just have to hide it from him for now. Oh no, I, I want to tell him though. Well, I don't quite know what's going on, but I'd like to get these letters delivered quickly while you know who isn't around. I'm really looking forward to the readers' reactions when they receive my letters. In the army, people are always a little reserved when talking to me, because I'm a general. But those obstacles are removed when you're communicating via letters. Everyone who writes seems to treat me like that one friend who they can share anything and everything with. So I'm not about to let them down. Let's head over. Why don't I deliver them for you? Hmm? But Yai Publishing House isn't far from here, if I remember <laughs> oh, no. correctly. Besides... This way, if uh, you know who does show up, we can look out for each other. Let's. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I love how it makes me switch to Ether during those, but then I never actually see him at all. <laughs> hmm. Strange. It seems unusually lively here today i don't come here often is it like this most of the time it's a special case today hey there seems to be some commotion over there let's check it out allow me to reiterate my friends we in the miss hina fan club must abide by the club rules firstly we mustn't try and probe into miss hina's true identity we of all people cannot cause her any trouble secondly Fans of Miss Hina are not to make any controversial statements when representing the fan club. We must exercise self-discipline and present a good image in front of other people. Thirdly, while our mission is to promote Miss Hina in every way possible, if someone we're talking to says they're not interested, we are to respect that and not go forcing it down their throats. And finally, we are here today because Miss Hina has brought us together, but we are also here to change ourselves for the better. For her sake! Can we do that, people? <laughs> Can we do that? Oh, he's he's real jazzed about this. Are we all joining the Miss Hina fan club? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> yes, we can! Always make her proud and never bring her down. Oh, so this is what they call a fan oh, club. Oh, honey, if only you knew. 
I don't know whose fan club it is, but they are raring to go. <laughs> Reminds me of the rallying speeches we used to give before going into battle. <laughs> hmm. Something's up, isn't it? I can tell. You're avoiding my gaze. Did something happen? <gasps> it's not <laughs> her, is it? Excuse me, friend. Something about you looks awfully similar to Miss Hina. <laughs> You're imagining things. No resemblance whatsoever. I see. Well, one way or another, fate has brought you here. Have you ever heard of Miss Hina? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Well, now's as good a time as any for you to find out more. Miss Hina is gentle, kind, and considerate. You can tell her anything that is bothering you, and she will patiently advise you on how to deal with it. Oh, well, she sounds like a very pleasant person to be around. <laughs> she must be the polar opposite of Yaimiko. Right? <laughs> I couldn't say. But he's the spitting image of Miss Hina. I wonder if they're blood relatives. Shh! Have you forgotten? We may not pry into Miss Hina's identity. <laughs> At least let's take a photo with him. <clears throat> Friend, may we take a photo with you? We borrowed a camera specifically to witness the official unveiling of Miss Hina's image today. Uh, sure. That's fine. Why do they want to take a picture with me? <laughs> it's a quirky practice of the Yai Publishing House. <laughs> All right, sure. She's his mom. Oh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> that should do it. Right, I should really be heading to the Yai Publishing House to hand in those letters now. <laughs> Few managed to keep him in the dark. Uh, make way, everyone. Make way. <laughs> The Miss Hina billboard is here. Oh Please no. Make some space. Coming through. Oh no. Hey everybody! It's the real Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Now I'm curious too. Let's go over and take a look. <laughs> no, you can't. Huh? Why? I heard What's Yaimiko is about to arrive back. Uh oh. Uh, really? Then we can't stay. Let's get out of here. As curious as I am to see what all the fuss is about, it'll have to wait until next time. So please join me again the next time I'm delivering letters. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's a. Uh, I can't shake the feeling that there's something you're not telling me. Oh no. Oh, Hutao, please no. Bathe in moonlight. What a quest. When can I put that in my teapot, please? <laughs> it's there. Yep. Oh my gosh. What a quest. That was incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was that was good. Did they sell them in real life? No. <laughs> Look at the publishing house. Oh my gosh, it's the three clients. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's ex. I hope that just stays there permanently. Love that. Can I advertisement billboard? Oh no, it's just the regular one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Incredible. Oh, here, I'm gonna take a picture with Miss Hina. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. do I have any? There we go. Oh, wait. I know how to use this. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. <laughs> Here, let's do this. Get the, the link. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> What a great quest. <laughs> Alright, we did get some primos from that though, so I think I gotta do one one pull here. I really want Bennett. Like, I wanna save for Ido, but also Bennett's the only 4 star I'm missing, please. I got like C3 Rosario last night. I just want Benny boy. Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes, okay? I'm closing my eyes, I'm not looking. God damn it, okay. 
I guess I could do the ba the rest of the beta ones, but oh my gosh, incredible! What did I? Oh, made furniture. Yep. What a quest! <laughs> there was just so much that happened there. Like, if I leave, is this gonna be gone though? I just wanted to stay forever. <laughs> Let's go see. Yeah, no, it's it's gone. What a shame. They really should just leave it there forever. Did I? Oh, I never got that, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. It's always there in our hearts and my screenshots folder. <laughs> Incredible. I'm trying to decide if I want to do... How many beta ones are left? Because I just had no clue what was going on in Beto's. Like, I think we did something illegal, but I'm not entirely sure. We can do- yeah, we could do one more for Beto. Oh, so I have to get back to the- Uh... <laughs> I have to get back to the boat! <laughs> can they just let- Wait, you can teleport here now? Since when? What? Are you telling me I did all of that for nothing? <laughs> well, would you look who's here? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a day to remember. Guys, look who the sea washed up. Look, we actually get to see him in one of these cutscenes for once. They added that in this patch. Well, I wish. Why did you let me climb up here earlier? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ahoy there, traveler. <laughs> yeah, we already did this. Hey, that's why I'm here too. Thanks to you, I'm already missing hearts. Captain's got quite the eye for people. <laughs> look at you. Right, here, here. They tell speed, we're speed running these. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, what? <laughs> there she is. I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. Oh, just look at her. Oh. Uh, Captain. Yeah, come on, Captain. Oh, all right, on let's board, go. Right? Let's go. Yeah, but just. All right, all right, I get it now. She's just so good. There the little heart. Special. So it goes without saying that the crux. Yeah, would she be calls honor. me special. No about yeah. That. But then again, a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. So should a hero really drop what they're doing yes, just to yes. spend day after In a day heartbeat. drifting at sea? <laughs> well, if that were the case, <laughs> then the crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon. Great. No, baby, let me come with you. Isn't that why every? Yes, a strong sailor. Yep, I guess come I on, come on. Just be. Apparently, I beefed the naval combat. That's a thing, I guess. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. You are a wise leader. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take that. Some rumors have it that the leader of the Crux is so powerful that she could slay the mighty Leviathan Hyshawn without breaking a sweat. I promise? I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. <laughs> Your heart fluttered when she said, I'm glad mine too, bestie. <laughs> but then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. It's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you, both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. I should be thanking them for taking me to Inazuma. Oh, good, great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. I made an interesting find on the beach shortly after we parted ways. <laughs> she found Goru's box. <laughs> Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. Oh, secrets? Uh, where am I going? Hello. Oh, she's just... she's great. So after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby. Probably belonged to Inazum and pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. At first, I thought it was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liyue treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Is there a great demonic presence in the area? Um, nothing like that. I just mean that the map was a mess. So it was the most I could do to figure out that the treasure was probably in Liyue. As for its exact location, I have no idea. 
I'd say I've explored Liyue pretty extensively, but still, this one managed to beat me. So, I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the best treasure hunter of all time, only the best to date. <laughs> Is that right? Well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. Nothing. So, Absolutely nothing. Where do you think it is? <laughs> what is this? Kind of looks like a fish. Anyway. Oh. Is it Shinsei Village? Shinsei Maybe. Shinsei Village. I don't see the resemblance at all. How'd you come to that conclusion? Yep, yep. The terraced land. Yep. Looks like the lines on the map. Totally. Oh. Okay, then. I'm definitely a rookie at this, <laughs> but your word's good enough for me. Time for a trip to Chingsa. You're coming with me, of course. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific location once we're there. I have no clue where we're going. Is she gonna run again? Because I could not keep up with her last time. <laughs> she was just zooming. Uh, where am I going? Ah, Pedro! Wow, and the traveler! My goodness, what's the occasion? Just here to visit us old folks once again? It hasn't been all that long since we last had a visit from the Crux. You know, I've realized what's missing from all of these story quests. Where's Paimon? Paimon doesn't say anything. Like, you know, I'm expecting her to pop up and say hi, Granny, you know? But I'm glad you picked today. You're just the people I need. These two young rascals. They've been arguing with each other non-stop about some petty nonsense or other. <laughs> Giving me space for my day. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm too old to get through to them. They won't listen to me. Please, talk some sense into them. Rest assured, Granny Zhuoshin. Whatever the situation is, the Traveler and I will take care of it. Oh, thank goodness. It's Captain Beto. You couldn't have come at a better time. You're the voice of reason I need in this situation. Oh, she's mad about something. Captain, please, help me get justice. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. What exactly is going on here? Spit it out. Tell me everything. It makes me mad just talking about it. G here, I don't know if he's got a screw loose or what his problem is. But anyway, he took it upon himself to raise, well, practically a whole army of what? fishes, okay? And now guess what? They fly onto my land and completely destroy at least half of my crops. I mean, everyone's gotta have a hobby. I asked him to pay compensation, but he refused. Now, how is that fair? Captain, I'm innocent. They're not even my finches. <laughs> I, I just thought they looked kind of cute, you know, so I fed them a couple of times. They're wild birds, though. A couple times? Are you kidding me? That's rich. Really rich. There were two of them when you first started. Two finches. Now <laughs> you have a whole roof full of finch nests. This is such a, like, a random problem to have. What? I swear, every time I come by your place, I think I'm at a bird market. I'm telling you, you are not gonna get away with this anymore. Who writes this? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, they laid a few eggs, made a few nests, but finches gonna finch, you know? <laughs> These are wild birds. I mean, they'll do whatever they please. No, this is like a very, yeah, no, the voice actor is doing a great job, but finch is gonna finch. <laughs> So that's how it is. I think I got the picture. Hmm. What's your take? Who? I don't want to take either of their side. I don't like either of them. Um, he's he can't. It's not his fault. He was just in a silly, goofy mood, and he wanted to feed the birds. It's not his fault. Mm, fair point. Granny Zhuoshin, is there anything left over from the relief funds delivered by the Crux on our last visit? Technically, this would be a case of avian damage to agriculture. It meets the relief criteria, so we can use these funds to cover Wenjing's losses. 
Why, yes. There is plenty left over. The Crux brings such a generous sum each time. There's no way our small village could ever use up all of it. Oh, thank you, Captain Beto. You can bet I never would have managed to get G to pay up, even if I spent my <laughs> whole life trying to persuade him. Thank you, Captain. You can bet I never would have been able to afford the compensation out of my own pocket. I'll drive those finches away the moment I get back. I can't let them carry on ruining the neighbor's crops. Beto. You do so much for our village, and we could never hope to repay you. <laughs> the old lady voice is interesting. Oh, thank you for the follow, head pats. Let's go. <laughs> Granny Zhuoshin, as you know, many of the boys from your fine village do sterling work for the Crux. The fleet wouldn't be what it is today without them, so please think nothing of it. Ji, Wenjing. I guess you're free to go. Captain Beto, Captain Beto, you're here. <laughs> Another, like, interesting old person voice. Okay. Pop Shang, it's been a long time. How've you been? <sighs> Don't get me started. I've been having some real trouble with that neighbor of mine, Jen. We keep having the same argument, and it just goes nowhere. Is Chingsai Village, is this just Florida for Genshin? Because that's the vibe I'm getting here. I heard you were in the village, so I rushed over to seek your help. Florida man feeds two finches, ends up with hundreds. Hated by community. And it's, yeah, exclusively old people, yeah. What's the issue? Oh, come with me, you'll see. Let's go find Jen and clear this whole thing up, face to face. Oh, mustache guy's gone, well. All right. <laughs> It's not what, not what I was expecting to be doing here. C -c Captain Beto, you're here. <laughs> I heard that you and Pop Shing had a little misunderstanding. So, what's up? Tell me about it. Yeah, right? I mean, the first one we did something, like, illegal that I, I still don't know what it was. And now we're just helping out old people? I mean, okay. <laughs> Quite the difference. <sighs> Jen planted a tree on his property a few years back. I had no issue with it at the time. It's just a tree. But a few years on, it's grown taller than the roof of my house. <laughs> Every morning when I get up and open the window, I just want to feel the sun on my face. But... I'm greeted instead by the looming shadow of my neighbor's tree. It really affects my mood. <laughs> I asked Jen to cut it down so I could get some sunlight back on my property. <laughs> His leaves are no. falling into my yard. <laughs> it's like he's done this on purpose just to drive me crazy. <laughs> Growing a tree out of spite. Captain Beto, you gotta believe me. I didn't intend to block the sunlight, but there's nothing I can do about it now. It's not just any old tree, you see. That tree was planted oh, there by no. my late father. The twist. Not long after he planted it, he passed away. And just before he passed, he left me with some parting words. He said our family's fortune was inauspicious and we needed something to suppress the bad luck. That's what he planted the tree for. How can I just chop it down? I'll be honest, I spent a few years studying in Liyue Harbor, so I don't actually share his superstitious beliefs. But still, that doesn't change the fact that this was my father's dying wish. Okay, I think I'm all clear on the situation. What are you thinking? <laughs> Why do I have to make all the decisions? Please help me out here, Beta. Yeah, the sun is kind of big. <laughs> yeah, give him some leniency. Mm, I was thinking along the same lines as you. Look, Pops, I'm not trying to make excuses for Jen, but just try putting yourself in his shoes for a moment. Jen's desire to protect his tree isn't for money or because he wants to hurt anyone or for the sake of any superstition. He just wants to honor his father's dying wish. Pops, you have kids too, right? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> when you put it like that... Pops, if you can agree to it, I'll have a word with Granny Zhuoshin and see about getting you some money from the relief fund as compensation for having your sunlight blocked. As for the tree... Uh, that sounds good to me. Uh, whatever you think, Captain Beto, the, the tree can stay. 
Some compensation would make me feel much better about the <laughs> whole thing. Would. Thank you, Captain Beto. And thank you for understanding <laughs> Pop's shin. I'll make sure to trim it back when I get home to let some more light through. Throw money at all your problems. No wonder she's friends with Ningwan. It'll be such a relief not to have to worry about this anymore. On a separate no, note, I'm with you on that. I remember the Crux last visited the village not very long ago. Is there some special reason why you're back in person so soon? <laughs> Nothing all that special, just personal reasons. I'm looking for some treasure. Huh? Treasure? W wait a second. That reminds me, I saw Chong Ping and Defu arguing in the fields earlier. It, it, it sounded like they were both trying to lay claim to some treasure. I, I don't know if it's related to the one you're looking for, but but anyway, they're probably still there now. Really? Okay, well, you and Pop Shing can go about your business now. I'll go see what the situation is. There's just so much talk about treasure and no Paimon. Like, I just kind of picture her, you know, popping out of the Pokeball. Like, treasure? For me? <laughs> Paimon gets to be a little greedy as a treat. Huh? Beto! You're just in time. Devu is being completely unreasonable. What happened? I'm not being unreasonable, Captain. I got Chung Ping to help me plow my land because it's the busy season. Yeah, Paimon is Waba Fett, in case you didn't know. And then, what do you know? He plows up a treasure chest. The way I see it, it's my land. So the treasure belongs to me, right? I think it's a pretty clear-cut case. You say that, Defu. But what you're forgetting is that I came to help you plow your fields out of the goodness of my heart. And you haven't paid me a single mora. Oh wait, sorry, I just noticed. There we go. It was also my plowing that turned up this <laughs> Am I the asshole? However yeah. you cut it, surely I'm entitled to at least some of the treasure. <sighs> the domestic drama just keeps coming today. What are your thoughts? Wait, Yanfei? I know a legal expert. I think she's better suited to handling this kind of stuff. Okay, I think I'm up to speed here. If you two really want to take this further, I can get a legal expert from Liyue Harbor to adjudicate. As for the costs, I'll cover them. What do you think? <laughs> she really does just throw money at all her problems. <laughs> uh, uh... Neither of you seems thrilled about this course of action. Okay, so, plan B. I'll be straight with you. The reason I came here today was to look for some treasure. Chances are it's hiding right there in the chest you're both fighting over. So, how about you two stop fighting over it and do me a favor by handing it to me? Of course, I'll be indebted to both of you. If either of you ever needs anything in the future, the Crux will not hesitate to lend you our support. Captain, you're far too kind, really. Indebted? That won't be necessary. If you want this chest, you go ahead and take it. <laughs> now I want you to picture Beto, Ningguang, Zhongli, and Child on a double date. <laughs> oh yeah, she's just yoinking it, huh? Yep, totally agree. If only I'd known you were looking for this chest. You should have said something. I would have delivered it to you personally to save you the trip. It seems like it's been quite a busy day for you, helping us settle all our little quarrels. Come on, let's go to the village. I'll rally the masses. We'll get some good food and good drink and have a good old get together. <laughs> Don't worry about the chest. I'll carry it over. Okay, but what's in it? They're gonna show us this time, right? Oh, I have to change. Nighttime, okay. Lots of uh, time stuff in these ones with Beta. There we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get the achievement. There we go. Discover Messina's true identity. That is worthy of an achievement, absolutely. Silly child, silly I'm just gonna teleport back over there. I'm a little annoyed that it's not like any of the treasure chests in the game. It's just its own thing. 
What a fine day today has been. Beto has solved an awful lot of problems in our village. <laughs> Their feet are in the ground. <laughs> They're just in the concrete. She sure has. Without Captain Beto, that compensation payment would have bankrupted me. Yeah, and if it weren't for Captain Beto, I'd still be arguing with Pops Shing. Here, here. We have plenty to thank Captain Beto for, I'm sure. I propose a toast in her honor. To Captain Beto. Cheers. I couldn't ask for more than the chance to get everyone together and drink to our heart's content. Cheers! She's great. Yeah, <laughs> that really hit the spot. Want to get some air? The view in this place is pretty good. We can take a look through the contents of that chest while we're at it. Chang Ping placed it by the water wheel. Are you sure you haven't had too much to drink? Are you kidding? Beto can handle her liquor. I love this. I love this so much. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, she's in a silly, goofy mood. Go. So, I've been thinking. Everyone seems to trust me enough to let me have the final word on their disputes. But don't you think some of my solutions can be a little stupid? You can laugh, I don't mind. Take Chung Ping and Dafu's wrangling over that chest, for instance. I had no clue who it should belong to, so I just came up with this stupid idea of taking it for myself. At least that way, neither of them would feel like it was unfair. But, I mean, I'm no Ningguang. I can't make a perfect no, deal every time. She's sad. No. And I'm no Yunfei either. Not all my judgment calls are going to be 100% fair and square. I am Beto, and my strength is in trading favors. So the captain of the crux just hands out favors to everyone all the time. <laughs> you think I should be more selective? Some people think their favors are so valuable that they need to plan out how and when to use them to maximize the return on their investment. They view the favor as a bargaining chip. Others see doing favors as a burden, not worth anything in monetary terms and prone to getting you locked in a cycle of constantly returning the favor back and forth. But the way I see it, favors are what keep people connected to one another. Over thousands of years, the people of Liyue have created bonds between each other by doing someone a favor here and asking for a favor there. This means that no individual is truly on their own out there. When someone falls down, there's an invisible net made of human connections, waiting to catch them and get them back on their feet. Aww, that's sweet. Over the years, I've come to owe favors to a great many people, and many other people have come to owe me one. These are the countless bonds between us, like so many fish in the sea. And they're the reason that the Crux and I have survived the countless hardships we faced. I believe that if there ever comes a day when the world is overrun by monsters, Liyue's legal system collapses and the land is thrust back into an age of war, it's these bonds that will see us all through the dark days ahead, until we come out on the other side. So the reason you asked for my help with finding the treasure today was so that you can owe me a favor? <laughs> I'm not saying that. But either way, we have a pretty firm bond between us already, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Was this wind brewed in a winery? It's making me lightheaded. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something we were literally just talking about. I'm not gonna ignore the treasure chest, I gotta know. Oh yeah, the chest! <laughs> oh, I got so immersed in our conversation that I forgot all about the main event. Come on, let's open it up and see what's inside. No, not the rotten cabbage. What is this Bennett luck? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? A whole lot of nothing? <laughs> it's not exactly what I was looking for, but you know what? I don't care. The fun part was going on a treasure hunt with you. Come on, let's get back to the party. Tonight, we go big before <laughs> we go home. Excellent. Oh, this is such a good one. This is great. <laughs> this is really cute. Community and share are the web that connects human hearts. Very sweet. <laughs> She's having such a good time. I'm gonna ignore the, the, the placement, but... <laughs> but 
Great. That's a good one. That should also go up in the house. I gotta make more of those frames. <laughs> Love that. Oh, we gotta get the primos. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's right. It's on the third one. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the rest of them now or if I want to call it. I think I'll save them. Incredible. Oh, let's, I haven't checked my resin in a while either. I might burn that real quick <laughs> before I go. Um, yeah, how many more do I need? Okay, yeah. We're not getting another wish today, but... That was good. That was very good. Um, yeah, no, the new story quests are great. <laughs> um, I would like to go do, 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 use this resin. I'm trying to build Toma. Like, don't get me wrong, I like just having him because he's cute, but I should probably actually give him good things. <laughs> just fight the cube real quick while I process everything we've seen. <laughs> Oh, what did we get? Oh, the banquet, yep. It's good. <laughs> uh, doo -doo. I should not bring all these pyro characters into the pyro cube battle, huh? Just a thought. Just, uh, just a thought. Um, you and you. A pleasure to be working with you. That was really good. I'm glad also, uh... <laughs> Just the whole Goru thing was so good. Love his, uh, his milf Sona. Yeah, no, th those were, like, especially wacky, though. Like, I feel like some of them... Like, the Bennett one was kind of whatever. Um... But some of them are just real good. I mean, the Toma one where you knit sweaters for the animals, that was just the peak. I mean, the Toma one was like the closest to a dating simulator in this game. They knew what they were doing. Oh yeah, the Changyun one was good too. With the, the wild goose chase for the ghost. Shouldn't have used this here, but that's okay. So close. I'm really looking forward to the Ido like story quest. That one's gonna be really good. I feel. I mean, he's already just such a like weird character. There we go. Food for the boy. Yeah, no, they've definitely got dating sim vibes. I mean, the the whole, like, the Toma, like, teacher thing, like, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Let me see. What do I need for this boy? Okay, Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Gonna take a while to find. Yeah, they're all, like... Yeah, no, they absolutely know what they're doing when they write these. <laughs> all right. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for coming on this this journey with me. This journey of fluffy boys and pretty pirate ladies. <laughs> um I don't think I'm gonna raid today, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Alright, well, thank y'all for coming. I am going to go for the night. And then I will be back on no stream Friday this week. No, no community game night. I need a break after after Muck anyway. That was 
that was a lot <laughs> but we'll be back on saturday with some more hardcore yeah hardcore yep i can still talk <laughs> so yeah stay tuned good night bye bye Mwah.